All right, I'm gonna make give you the short, short version of this just as a reminder. So here you go, geography in the early settlement of Egypt and Kush is what we're gonna start with right now. We're talking about these areas in green over to the left um, along the Nile River and along the east side of the Mediterranean Sea. All right, so the three environmental factors we're talking about, water, of course, people need water to live, water is life. Um, topography, and that remembers change in elevation in the land, how the land changes. Uh, mountains would be uh, an example, rivers, valleys, um, plains, things like that. Uh, and then vegetation, areas where things grow, um, where you find useful plants, uh, things like that. So let's go through real quick the environmental factors of Egypt uh, and Kush. When we talk about water, we're talking about the Nile River. That's where most people settled. Um, it was a great fresh, fresh water source, good for farming and a lot of hunting. Um, the plains on the banks of the Nile River were uh, the areas that we see uh, where most farming and settlement occurred. Um, the Mediterranean Sea up near the Nile River Delta uh, was a good source of food in terms of fishing and things like that. The next thing we have, we have topography, the Nile River Valley. Um, really encouraged settlement, those flat plains along the river. Um, they're perfect for farming. Um, and of course, we have the deserts here that provide natural barriers and protection uh, from other areas and take a look and notice where um, Kush was located on this uh, big bend in the Nile River. All right, uh, the last thing is vegetation. Shirt, certain plants like uh, papyrus and other reeds that grew along the river, uh, super useful for making things like baskets, roofs for houses, uh, amongst other things. So there's your quick overview. Um, watch it, know it, and ask questions. All right.